What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. And before going into the game, I'm just going to do a quick update. I'm yet to actually get my capture card back. Uh, still waiting, uh, still haven't got a mail that is on its way back. So it's taking a lot longer than it needs to be, and I really hope that they send it back this week so at least have it, you know, soon, because I do want my capture card back and stop doing what the quality is, is supposed to be. So we're actually yet in the webcam departure, so sorry about that, and hopefully things will work itself out soon enough. So anyway, today we're going up against Trent, I know on YouTube as uh, Lax Lime, and he's an upcoming PocketTuber, and I wish him all the luck and, uh, you know, trying to make it. It is a tough, <laughs> it's a tough... Uh, um, business, obviously, but um, he is very, definitely a formidable battler, so um, his skill is not an issue. It's just trying for him to reach out, so there, that's why I'm doing a little shout out for him here. So, anyway, look at this team. We got Lapras, Lantern, Go Goat. I don't remember the less evolution of Gotatel, <laughs> Weezing, and a Kecleon. And I myself using Aurorus, uh, Virizion, uh, oh, what's it called? Gigalith, uh, Dudrio. A physical choice man type lotion and Kadabra is still here because it kind of works now, isn't it? And anyway, um, I'm going to try to lead with Aurorus because Aurorus is dying every freaking time we use it. So I might as well lead with it to see if it hits something. <laughs> it really is lacklustering. It, has, it hasn't been working that, that well at all. And I'm really feeling that I should stop using it altogether. And, uh, yeah, basically, his biggest threat on this team is definitely Kecleon, and uh, Weezing is quite tough for me to deal with with this team. But other than that, I'm just gonna try to fend him off and best my abilities, and hope I'm able to do just that. So, with that in mind, let's go. So, straight off the bat, he will actually lead off with the Kecleon, which is really fine. Because for me, that means one thing, and that is that this Kecleon is obviously a Stealth Rock Setter. Or rather, I hope for that. So I went for rock polish to be able to outspeed, you know, whatever is necessary to be honest. And he goes for stealth rocks. It's so nothing serious there going on. And since it changes type into rock, I can go for an earth power because I just, you know, ice and the ground are just one of the best um, combination, really. So our auras with earth power is quite formidable and quite scary. But he goes for trick room. And I was like, um, okay, that was a wasted rock polish if I ever saw one. And um, I have no reason to reload over predict. Uh, I was hoping for him to stay in, so I'm just gonna go for a hyper voice. Um, looking at back re here, really, I know we had two water Pokemon. Why wouldn't they go to a water Pokemon? But I have weakness policy, and I'm I am fairly defensive, so I'm just gonna stay in and trying to take this surf. And Aurora's proven yet again that he is not long in a battle ever, 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 ever. But at least he got the Trick Room up, which means a Gigalith for my Vulcan can come in and actually do some damage here. And I'm just gonna go for Rock Blast. It is not Choice Banner this time. I have a Salt Vest and... Um, yeah, I need 4 hits to take this one down now, don't I? Even the third it doesn't kill, but I'm this lucky, so I actually scored a 4th hit. Which is, of course, very, very good. And uh, yeah, I'm just feeling it. You know, that that is exactly what I wanted it to. And it's gonna go for Lantern. Um, yeah, quite risky since the Trick Room is still up, so you just can go for an EQ straight off the bat and do a immensely amount of damage on it. And he will go for a Scold, and it will not take me out. But it does some fair damage there, and the dimension is back to normal. I do expect him to go for another Scold, but he will actually pull a double switch on me, expecting me to bring the Verision. And, uh, yeah. Shit. Obviously, here I could predict him another EQ. Um, which would have been fine anyway. I can't stay in here, obviously, and I won't risk it whatsoever. A sludge bomb is... Um, it is at the most intimidating. I, I don't think it is even a 3 hit KO, or probably around that. It is at least not a 2 hit KO, but I can't stay in. So I basically have to sack Vulcan. I don't expect him to go for another trick room, and if it does, I hope I can play around it. <sighs> so, anyway. Sludge Bomb obviously is not taking me out, but a Will-O-Wisp is pretty much a, <laughs> a nail in the coffin here, because Vulcan, uh, you know, it can't really do anything with this range, plus um, Weezing being, you know, a monster of a Pokemon when it comes to defenses, uh, can, you know, stay in it quite comfortably and restore almost all his health that are dealt to it, plus the Will-O-Wisp will take me out. So, thank you, Gigalith! <laughs> thank you! 
So my two rock Pokemons are out, so that, that's great to know. So anyway, Calvin coming in, the physical choice battle type lotion. And I'm basically gonna fake that I have Eruption, because, um, well, that is obviously what type lotions does, force Pokemon out with Eruption. So I felt that it was a key opportunity for him to bring a special defensive poke while I go for a physical damage. Type Lotion itself is not that physically oriented, but just it hits so hard. It just breaks everything in its path, and it's actually quite fast. So this combination works fairly well. It's it's a scary damage, like overall scary damage. So he's gonna bring his Bronchios to Weezing. And it can't take this either. It is easily a two-hit KO with the choice band. And you know, obviously the recall eventually will take me out if I'm unlucky here. And he will actually decide to sack his lantern, which is fine by me. I mean, obviously uh, he had to sack something uh, to try to come out on top. So uh, I really get it. I really do. But had he stayed with the Weezing, I would have gotten much more recall than uh, the Lantern here. And the reason I actually say that is because his Kecklin will come in and he has a Shadow Sneak. And he is really unlucky here because the Shadow Sneak is not able to take me out. It's close, but had he sacked the Weezing, I will actually have been taken out by this Shadow Sneak because of recall and whatnot. Because I survived with pre HP. And his Flare Blitz will annihilate the Kecklin, which means that no more Trick Room, or at least so I hope. Um, poor Cacleon really, it has actually a lack of lustring defenses, but the special defense is really good. And I, I think my physical type lotion worked, um, it really <laughs> showcased itself. So anyway, I'm going to Chris Snake because with Focus Sash and whatnot, I can kinda come in and save myself a lot of damage if uh, it's a Bronx Witch Plus. Just overall, it, it can kinda hit everything super effective. So I go for a Signal Beam and that does not enough. I had a single beam on Kadabra only for one reason, and that was to actually phase off other psychic types that can kind of counter it, plus dark types. Um, but this Pokemon tend to um, kind of wall me out there, got to tell, and that is extremely, extremely unfortunate because that means the Trick Room is back on. It's gonna go for Dark Pulse. It won't do anything to my sword, and I actually packed a quick attack. So um, yeah. Fairly lucky there, and it was extremely important that that was going down, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I could have fended off properly if it managed to survive that. Or rather, I would have to sack something, and I really didn't want to bring my um, Verseon to that. But I can bring Verseon to the Go Goat, because Go Goat is. Oh, how to put it? It is not that threatening, and after this rock slide, I really felt comfortable staying in. So, I'm just going to go for Sacred Sword, he will go for a bulk up, expecting me to be physical oriented, which is not a bad prediction, because they tend to be that, and pack Exister and whatnot, so... So good for him, good for him, and um, yeah, obviously, this Gogoth, Gogoth is always trouble for me, I, I mean, this Sacred Sword will not prove to do anything, and it's because Gogoth is so specially defensively heavy, and with its HP being quite high, it's just a demon on its own, it really is. So I decided to go for a Calm Mind because I thought I could win this face off. So I was thinking I might as well set up and, you know, just eradicate him for the whatnot when what I got left. And also yet another bulk up, so I really felt, okay, I need to start attacking him. I need to have, um, at least, I know that two Sacred Swords should be enough to take him out, considering the damage I was doing. And I did not account for Horn Leech, and uh, that will be a downfall for me, because yes, two Sacred Sword will be enough, but a Horn Leech could just break my Vrision, like that is just terrifying. It hurts so much, and obviously me and Leftors and whatnot will actually help him, you know, come back to it, and then get life of the pack of course, and basically I'm here right now just face palming and just feeling why why did I just you now force him out and just keep attacking him instead of actually making him recover back some HP which is just wow why <laughs> why did I do that so anyway I'll go to do drill because I really felt that I kind of have this game maybe in the bag with a little luck uh, as long as it doesn't uh, pull another trick room which I really hope we can't do uh, so I'm just going to go for Drill Pack because I have Life Orb in this Pokemon, so having Braver and, and Life Orb would kind of break this Dudrio, but Drill Pack might you know, help me out much more than uh, the other moves will do. But obviously it is not enough, I was probably better off going for a return expecting him to switch out, and I would take the go without anyway. But, 
no matter because my cadaver will just come in and just basically show in that this spoon is made for killing and go for Psyshock which of course will take out the Weezing and his last Pokemon is the Go-Goat and there is not much a Go-Go can do against a Kadabra from this range. So of course I just wanna say Black Slime, GG, really, it is a close one oh actually and uh, it really didn't feel like that once I had enough momentum but I could do much more properly sack play once my Type Lotions kinda, um, kinda did the things it did uh, my opponent really had a bulky, kind of tough team, and um, I really didn't have the like, valor to break that through besides the type lotion, which obviously um, made a difference there and it helped me out a lot. But I like Trick Room teams, I really feel that they are the way to utilize itself if you wanna, if you wanna be more successful, of course, and uh, in lower tiers, Trick Room is quite powerful. So anyway guys, I really hope you liked this battle of course as always, and if you did make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to check out Lax Lime's channel, I'm gonna link it down below, and also Lax Lime in Swedish means basically Salmon Lime, which is just, just wanna have that out, it's actually kinda great food combination, if you guys are wondering, which I know you don't, <laughs> but anyway, he's definitely have a good balance upload on his channel, so if you want to have more content, make sure to check him out. And of course guys, with all this in mind, don't forget the sky is of course the limit, and stuff like that, and <laughs> yeah, basically, hopefully, you know, I get back to you guys with the capture card, hopefully things work itself out soon enough. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching, and remember, sky is the limit, so have a good day guys, and take care, alright? Bye.